The video does not call for violence. The video contains scenes of feeding a bearded gamma with a leaf foot. Hello. Today we will find out what will happen if a bearded gamma sees a flock of large flies. To do this, we need a terrarium and, of course, a bearded dragon. It is the second name of this lizard. Just look at this beautiful specimen. This color is special and breeders call it citrus. Throughout the history of the channel, we have repeatedly shot videos about this unusual lizard. And now it can hardly fit into our small terrarium. Previously, the aquarium was quite spacious for this lizard. But I think it's time to change the filming location for its own. Yes, this is an aquarium, only for filming. The lizard lives in another spacious terrarium, with two types of lighting, a drinking bowl, shelter and a wooden branch on which the lizard likes to rest. This is not the final size of this lizard yet, and it will continue to grow. Just look how small she used to be, and even the common locust seems gigantic to her. This box previously contained maggots, which later turned into flies. If you look closely, you can see cocoons from which these blowflies just hatched. In the last piece, we showed you what will happen if the fly catcher sees a fly. And she showed herself to be a real hunter. But is the lizard good for catching flies? Let's find out. Such flies are not a bad addition to the standard diet of the lizard. But it becomes almost vegetarian by an older age and begins to eat lettuce leaves or vegetables and fruits more often. However, at the same time, it does not completely refuse leaf food. I came up with simplest system how to open this box of flies in a closed lizard terrarium. I wonder how a lizard will behave with such flying insects, which I think are difficult to catch. But the lizard is ready to catch them, even though I haven't released them yet. So, professor, let's get started. It can already be seen that the bearded dragon was not afraid of a flying flock or flies and feels comfortable, except for its tail, which did not fit in the terrarium. Staying almost in one place, the lizard as if analyzes the situation and looks out for the most suitable prey, which is easiest to catch. The tongue of the bearded gamma is designed in such a way that in order to hunt, the lizard needs to release it in front of her by one or two centimeters. There is the lizard's salva on the tongue, and in this case it serves as glide on the fly catching tape. It turns out that the fly that the lizard touches with its tongue literally stick to it. By the way, did you manage to count how many flies the lizard have already managed to catch during this whole time? Write in the comments how many flies you counted for such a large individual. Even such a number of flies cannot be enough for her to eat. For her, it's like an ice cream or donut, not lasagna or a huge pizza. So, today we have learned that even lizards can be excellent fly hunters and eat them in greater numbers than the fly catcher. Not only this gamma, but also most lizards have such a useful skill. But to prove it to you, I need to find a wild lizard. And if you want such a video, be sure to like this one. This is how I know that you are interested. What I like about my lizard is that it, like a chameleon, can change color. Sometimes it turns from bright orange to gray. And after a while, it can be go back to orange. And of course, I can't help by mention her cheek color around her neck. Reminiscent of a beard. That is why, a bearded gamma. I hope you were interested. If so, be sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, peaceful sky above your head, and health to your family and friends. That's all I have to say for now. Bye everyone.